Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the hidden blade and the unseen strike, what it does, how it works, is it even worth using it and uh, briefly about the build that I did combined with the Mjolnir and first things first, I want to see, I want to show you how it looks like. So hidden blade is the dagger, when you get phasing, while you have phasing every half second you trigger projectiles and these projectiles look like that. This is currently linked with greater volley. Uh, course on hit, uh, well, I guess hex touch, not course on hit anymore, and early weakness. So basically, every half second it shoots projectiles. Now, I'm gonna show you our stats. The unseen strike does uh, deals 250 of base attack damage. It is a projectile, it does not pierce by default. It can chain, it can fork, it can split, it can pierce. It is counted as projectile nova, so if you get multiple pro projectiles, if you have more than one projectile, it will shoot in a nova. So it looks like that. It is affected by cooldown recovery speed. Although the wording is a bit weird, it sounds like it's a trigger, like a castle charring, and it should not be affected by it, but it is. If you link it with second wind, uh, you will see that its cooldown is going down. Now, another cool thing is that. These blades actually target closest enemies, so it doesn't shoot randomly like tornadoes from uh, Sakwal set. The crit chance is based on the weapon. The weapon has, strangely, 6.1% uh, critical strike chance. Uh, support gems inside it obviously gonna su uh, support that skill. I haven't, I haven't tried uh, attack projectiles return to you, that may be decent, but damage wise it's pretty bad. This deals 250 of base attack damage sounds good, but the the dagger itself has pretty bad base damage. In reality, it only has uh, on average 165 average well hit damage, so it's pretty bad. You can also stack a bunch of flat damage, um, maybe do the conversion, but I think no matter what, if you're only gonna be relying on this blade. It's not gonna perform well. One thing I forgot, if you dual wield, it's not gonna use both of them. It's not gonna stack, but each time you gain phasing, it's gonna pick a different weapon. And I tested that with uh, one having like greater volley and another one, one having GMP. And uh, every time I lost phasing and gained phasing again, it would pick a different weapon. So it's not gonna stack. Ideally, you would probably want a second weapon that has very high damage, raw damage, not really DPS because that's based on attack speed and then it may scale pretty well but I tried to make a build around it in, in PUB and uh, I had like 80k DPS. That's for poison you obviously could have more but uh, just straight up front loaded raw hit damage you're not gonna be doing much with, with that. So I thought maybe I could combine it with Mjolnir because Mjolnir only requires you to hit it with it and uh, it will alternate weapons. Like uh, every second hit will be hit with Mjolnir and another one will be hit with this blade. It's kind of wasted that you have to use this weapon for damage because it does pretty bad damage. And uh, for this build I decided to not scale the attack damage and just go pure spellcast. So this blade, uh, these projectiles trigger Mjolnir and then the Mjolnir triggers Arc and uh, I also have Caswell Sharing for Cyclone but in the end I tested with two Mjolnirs instead of the blade and it was performing much better <laughs> it was so much better but for the Glee Speed it was still feeling better to use this one because it hits enemies before you can reach them and, and use Cyclone but if you use something else to, to hit instead of Cyclone maybe like I don't know Spectral Throw it would perform much better than using that blade so that blade is pretty bad, sadly. But if you still want to do this build, or well not necessarily this build, but to do something with that, uh, I also want to mention a couple of things how you can, well, have phasing. Uh, you probably would want to have permanent phasing, not really the cheapest, but the simplest way is to get Watcher's Eye. Uh, you have phasing while affected by haste. So you get that, you have permanent phasing, you always shoot these projectiles all the time. That, that is one way. Another cheapest way would be to go Raider. Uh, and that was actually my first plan. The PUB does not have this blade. Um, does not have this blade 
enabled, I guess, so it does not recognize this skill. So I kind of have to simulate it by using like level 40, um, level 40 spectral throw and then doubling the damage because it's 116 base damage. So if you double that, it's going to be like uh, 236. So it's almost close to 250 base damage and it is a projectile. So that's how I simulated the damage. So if you were to double this average damage, it would be 38 and uh, you shoot two projectiles or well sh yeah trigger it twice per second so it would be would be shit damage it would be just bad so the cheapest way to to have like a permanent phasing would be raider you get the uh, frenzy charges and then while you have onslaught or while you are on maximum frenzy charges you also have phasing so and also you can easily get phasing on kill so that's kind of you get that you basically have you have phasing as long as there are targets to kill and of course if you get that well just generate the frenzy charges on a single target and 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 maintain that but you're not gonna be killing bosses with this blade alone another very easy and and cheap way to get that is uh, through the quartz flask you use quartz flask you get you have phasing and if you are like pathfinder you can generate the charges and just maintain it hopefully maintain actually i don't know you probably should be able this is cyan pathfinder so i often still run out of flash charges yeah as you can see i ran out of it and it's very unpleasant if you run out of flash charges and and you can't trigger it again and you have nothing else to do then you can also use withering steps if you perform if you have withering steps and you perform any action it can, kind of can, cancels the withering steps itself look if i perform something done cancel so i actually had arcane cloak on my left click because this is kind of mind over matter i was trying to get more damage to it so i was using arcane cloak which does give a lot of lighting damage uh, and also sigil of power but if you use arcane cloak while you have withering steps it also cancels the withering steps so that wasn't really a good plan now this build that i was doing was kind of all right it's it's kind of squishy you you're only looking at 3.3k life but also have uh, mana and this is mind over matter with agnostic as long as i don't get one shot at i can recover my life and mana pretty fast and it feels all right but and the speed is all right but mostly because of the impulsa but i cannot kill single targets i can't really fight conqueror so if you want to copy this build know that it's it's gonna be bad for everything except for low level map clear and even low level highs are pretty sketchy but it's not too bad you can definitely do low level maps with this but it's not expensive like getting impulses like fatic hairs getting milliners like free hairs this blade is also pretty bad um i got essence swarm as well just to get uh, wrapped just to get a bit more damage but it's it's bad i i would not recommend using this blade i would like to know if you've got any ideas uh, for this blade, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, maybe, maybe there are some better users for this, but I personally cannot figure this out. But if you do, let me know in the comments below. Also, for the next video, I'm gonna be doing something with the new helmet, and that helmet uh, basically works like channeling Destiny. That it does have potential, but it's clunky. So we'll see if I can make it work uh, smoothly. So if you're not subscribed and you don't want to miss that video, be sure to subscribe. So for now, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.